Hi guys, this is Jamaican Natural L'Oreal and I'm here to show you how I refresh my day three um, wash and go and how I style it. Hold on, let me get some bobby pins. So you definitely need bobby pins for this one. Um, so this is day three wash and go and I use um, Let's Jam. <clears throat> and the thing with using Let's Jam as opposed to Eco Styling Gel is because Let's Jam it conditions your hair. Your hair is really soft. <clears throat> it's not flaky. As if you use um, the Eco Styling Gel. And also it, it it adds this amount of sheen to your hair. Alright, so this is day three. And it's okay if it's all um, pat down and look like that. I mean, it is day three and you did have a wrap over it. So it's fine. So what you do to refresh your hair is you get a spray bottle with your water and it's simply just water and you simply just spray your hair you're not going to hold on i'm putting a towel around my clothes simply because i'm dressed for work and i just decided to just do this video for you guys so i don't want to wet up my clothes all right so you you don't want to damp your hair or soak your hair you just want to damp your hair so you don't want to soak your hair as if you literally just got out of the shower and did your hair but you're simply waking up the curls all right so you pull your hair and i have 4c hair so if you guys have 4c hair this tutorial is like perfect for you so you pull your hair wake up the curls a little you're not gonna soak your hair you're just waking up the curl patterns all right and um if you're using the curl the curly girl method what you do is scrunch your hair but um the thing with the curly the curly girl method is that it doesn't scrunching your wash and go doesn't really work for foresee hair so i mean scrunching it alone so you're just gonna scrunch and lift 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 all right and then what i normally do is i normally just you know give it a little flash <laughs> just to wake up the curls all right so there it's all woken <laughs> it's all woken up um i could wear it like this you know a cute little afro solange type thing but no i'm gonna actually style it you can do a fro hawk um with with your day three wash and go you can go fro hawk it looks pretty cute i think so i'm gonna put um take out some bobby pins i'm having the flow you guys so nice all right so i'm just setting some bobby pins aside <clears throat> right and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take the side like this and I'm just going to scrunch it all the way over, as far over as I can. As far over as I can. And then I'm going to take the bobby pin and I'm just going to secure. I'm just going to secure. Push the bobby pin down. And the trick with this is to push one pin down and one pin up. So this one will be going up. So it's one pin down, one pin up. One pin down. One pin. So there. I could wear it like this to work. Don't you think, guys? What do you think of this one? <laughs> what do you think? I like it. I like it. It looks kind of cute, though. I mean, this was... The, the, the thing with 4C hair is that when you do your wash and go and it's day three, I think day two or day three wash and go is like the best. Because your hair is so defined. I like it. Mm. <laughs> but all right so this is one style that you can use um to complete the fro hawk or the semi fro hawk 
you get more pins for the other side so i'm just taking out some more pins laying them down and you do the same process with this side you take your hair and you put it back as far as you can as far as you can <clears throat> And I'm just opening the bobby pins up when I put them in my mouth. All right. And then you secure one up, one down. Uh, it's okay to use more than six bobby <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's okay to use more than four bobby pins because you want your hair to be really really secure no right there and that's it you guys Ta-da! and this is how i'm starting my day three wash and go i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and as always Thanks for watching. Mwah. Bye, guys.